Welcome back to the world's biggest sandwich series, the series in where I'm literally traveling across the entire world based on money I earn from strangers in order to put the earth between two slices of bread. Why London? Well, my best friend Carl's here. You know me, you love me. Hey, Winner yeah. of the Lamborghini versus Tesla race. <laughs> well, let's not forget, this is my video. So this is Carl's new home, and he's pretty much gonna be giving me a place to stay here over the next few days as I find my way through London, trying to earn money from complete strangers to get to my next location on the other side of the world. I'm making the world's biggest sandwich. Wanna give me some money to make it? You guys got any extra money laying around? What about the queen? How is that supposed to make you money? You guys got any money for a sandwich? I need money. Okay, I'm glad. Yeah, a little bit of money on you. Go, go, go. Myself. This is never gonna work, huh? You got money? You guys want to learn TikTok? Five pounds. You got money? <laughs> this is embarrassing. How did I end up here? <sighs> this work? One second. Test, test, test. Okay. Um, where do we start? Let's just start at the beginning. Ever since the breakup, I mean, I could kind of tell that something was off with Tucker. More specifically, he's had this weird obsession with sandwiches and even just bread in general. So I decided to follow him to check up to see how he's doing. And that's when things got really concerning. I'm not really sure what he's going through right now, but it's definitely not normal or good. Yo, Tucker! I haven't heard from this dude in like three days. The sandwich zone, what the f is this? Yo, Tucker? Dude. Dude, what's going on? Sam, what what's, are you doing here? What's with the bread? I just got a little hungry and cold. What's the, the sandwich zone? You wanna see the sandwich zone? I don't, I don't Show me the sandwich zone. And if that wasn't concerning enough, that was when he decided to show me what he was working on. I've been working on this for a while. Sorry about the music. A little messy in here. This is it. I've been working on sandwiches. I've got the earth. Uh, put the put the earth between two slices of uh, bread. Do you're doing what? Huh. Yeah. He's just not in a good place at all right now. Um, no one's watching his videos, his views are down, he's completely broke. Like I've seen his bank account, he has no money, and I'm starting to get really concerned. Ladies and gentlemen, I've made it to the top of Los Angeles. This is where I'll be placing the first piece of my white bread. Right below this exact location, Reunion Island, is where the other piece may go. Making the earth into a sandwich. So that's when he went to the top of Los Angeles and started his big sandwich adventure. So I looked at flights to New York City this morning and there's one leaving in 17 hours and 55 minutes. I have to make $107 today. He can't possibly fly across the world with no money. We're gonna be making it to the other side of the world in like a week and a half. Okay. So I'm thinking you full send me some money. Yeah, yeah I'll give you a dollar. I fucking love that. Uh, and that's when he told me he was gonna be using other people's money. Shut up. Thank you, man. You don't know how hard it's been. So I'm going around asking people for money today. You'd be willing to contribute to that project. I don't really know what was going on in his mind, but somehow he thought of just begging for money. You got a dollar? And at one point in time, he got literal children to make money for him. You want to help me get cash? Yeah, yeah! Hey! We've acquired the minions. What? You got money? You got dollar? Oh my god, you weren't kidding. You're a legend. You're a legend. This is the best thing that's ever happened. Which I'm pretty sure, no. Which is definitely not legal whatsoever. Dude, this is genius. Yo, we gotta go. Wow. Yes! Yes! My boy! Yes! Wow! Oh my god! Wow! God! Oh my god! We're just taking money from kids today. Woo. Oh my god! Are you kidding me? <laughs> Let's keep it going. Oh my god! You guys are going to $167.23. Well, that's just fine and dandy. I get to purchase my ticket to New York City now, furthering my journey to create the world's largest sandwich. We did it! This is so dangerous! Somehow Tucker's child labor army ended up making him enough money to get him to New York. No idea how that happened. Hand warmers and some toe warmers. Thank you and so much. And what I think Tucker fails to understand is that without the help of Anthony from the lawnmower video, he'd be dead. Like I'm talking a 0.001% chance that he should be alive right now. Now to make it to my next location, which is London, I need to make just over $250 for complete strangers. So at least in New York, he found a legitimate way to make money. And instead of panhandling from strangers, he ran around delivering Uber Eats. So I have the Uber Eats app. Apparently I'm in a surge zone, which means I can earn extra dollar dollars. There you go, buddy. Thank you, have a good day. Next order, baby. Woo! Evan, have a good one. 
Sabrina. <laughs> order for Jasmine. Slowly but surely. <laughs> I sh do not. That order I just dropped off, Juliet, just tipped me $8. At this point, I've earned enough money to go on to London. I'm literally purchasing my ticket to London from the money that we earned today and left over from LA. I pretty much have exactly enough money to buy it. It's $250. And big surprise, Tucker ended up sleeping on the streets of New York. And honestly, I don't know what he expected. He goes to a city with no money at all. It's kind of what he deserves. The sun is rising and I didn't get stabbed. The guy just doesn't plan for anything. Like he could have gotten stabbed on the street or just died there, but that's Tucker. We're going to London. I, I wanna know how you did it. I did Uber Eats. And then with all the odds stacked against him, of course, Tucker did what he does and he found a way to make it to London. And that was the point when the sandwich was starting to look like it was gonna happen. See ya, I'm gonna head back. See ya. All right, so between takes there, Carl and I were filming a little TikTok, and I backflipped, and I think I bruised or fractured the absolute <laughs> out of my heel. While that happened, Carl also had to go home. His girlfriend, Lisi, texted something along the lines of, come home, I have to talk to you really quick. Speak of the devil. Just COVID. That's not good. She got the vid, which means he might have the vid. Okay, so now five minutes later, Carl just texted me saying he found a couple of wacky and weird laws here in London. And if that I can break those laws while I'm here, he'll give me the money I need to get to where I need to go. The first law, you can't be within a hundred yards of the queen wearing no socks. <laughs> what kind of law is that? At that point in time, he was breaking literal yeah. laws, hanging out with Carl, which I'm pretty sure is the reindeer guy. Yeah, I don't think anything good could ever come out of that. It is breaking the law to knock on somebody's door and run away. Next law, you may not cross the street in a weird or strange manner. There's no way that's real. I'm gonna consider that law broken. Lingering at a graveyard. I found one half a mile away. I shouldn't be doing this. Somebody's grave. Ah, okay. <laughs> Clearly this goal of Tucker's to make $500 from strangers was going absolutely nowhere. This is wrong. Law broken. All right, so I finished Carl's tasks. Gonna give him a call, let him know I'm done. Why, why are you calling me? I'm calling you to tell you I completed the tasks. What tasks? The laws that I broke for you, Carl. I didn't even care. I was just gonna buy your ticket for your birthday. And at least Reindeer Carl had the decency to put Tucker out of his misery with a birthday gift. <laughs> <laughs> so you were just giving me pointless things to do to fill my day? Yeah. Oh. It was a business boy for you. <laughs> I'll take that. Make sure you subscribe to Carl. You got it. I'll put his stuff right here. Name a friend that you have that would do that for you. That's pretty phenomenal. The only problem is Hugh is also my only place to stay, which means I'm gonna have to find a place to sleep on the street. <laughs> this is gonna be it. Not a bad situation. It's almost midnight. All I gotta do is make it till the morning, then get to the airport. 2.48. Can't really sleep because it's cold. I can barely feel my hands. The sun rises in like three hours. So if I can just close my eyes till then, I will have done it. We did it. <laughs> I gotta get to the airport. It's sandwich time. Woo! Made it to the airport, mother <laughs> Just looking for my little slice of bread. That, it doesn't look too hot. We have to obtain a travel certificate. For compelling reasons only. Do you think making the world's biggest sandwich is a compelling enough reason or? Oh my God, I don't want to get stuck at this stupid place. So technically I'm not allowed to travel to Reunion Island. I have to make a sworn, sworn statement. I'm just printing out these forms. Gonna show uh, Reunion Island my quirky side. Well, a little, little quick little lie. <laughs> Who's to say that my reason for being there isn't just as valid as somebody who needs to be there for a medical emergency. I gotta put a piece of bread down and the earth and make the earth into a sandwich. I would I would argue this is one of the most important things to happen this year. I'm gonna print out some forms, get ready to see if I can get on this airplane. What's up? That's it. Thank you so much. There is no way that that just happened. So long as I can just set a piece of bread down, whether it's in the airport jail or whether it's outside, I will still be on the other side of the earth. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. Give me world's biggest sandwich coming through. So that brings us up to speed with where we're at right now. Tucker made it to the airport and is on his way to 
reunion, which I'm pretty sure. World's biggest sandwich coming through. Based off what I've read, you can't legally enter the island without being a citizen or having medical emergency. 100% chance I'm going to jail. I don't know, I feel like I'm the only one that's concerned for Sandwich Boy. Like, why does he really think that this is gonna happen? I have no idea how he's gonna make this work. I've fully determined that I'm gonna end up in airport jail because I'm certainly not allowed to be traveling to where I'm going to to put the piece of bread down. I could have probably figured that out if I looked, but I didn't know. Second flight, 20 more hours of traveling. Thank you. Thank you. Here we go again. I don't know if you can even call it bread anymore. Bye, thank you. This could be a really big make it or break it moment. We're at Union Island. World's biggest sandwich. Oh, no, no, no. I, I'm just staying in the airport doing a quick little flip flop. Where you need to self isolate uh, during 10 days but it's for less than 24 hours. So I don't care about seeing Reunion Island, but I don't want to get stuck in Reunion Island. Risk, but more than 10 days because you need to self-isolate or in direct transit from Reunion to your next destination. But direct transit, okay. I don't want to get stuck in Reunion Island for sure. <laughs> okay, well, I'm not going to Reunion Island. Here we go. Because you have two separate tickets tomorrow for your Mauritius Dubai. I'll have to stay in Mauritius. One okay. day. And I can't stay in the airport. Yeah. Looks like this is where we're staying. This is properly f***ing insane. Yes. No f***ing way. Yes, this is my My bag did not go to Reunion Island. Oh, we drive on the other side here. Oh, no. We made it! We're only really 20 miles from where I'm supposed to be. As far as I'm concerned, Mauritius Island is the other side of the earth, baby. Which means now I have to find where on this island is the most epic possible place to set my loaf of bread. We won't stop until it's set down properly and given the spot it deserves. Oh, can you tell I'm passionate about this? My God, it's perfect. To the top, we're going to the top. That right there is exactly where the other half of this sandwich deserves its place on earth. Let's go! Oh, my foot. Uh, it's definitely still super bruised. Ah. Ah. This is it. This is what everything has built up to, to this exact moment. Oh, dude, I'm so exhausted. Holy this is it! The other side of the world! Ah, this bread is completely crumbled to a mold, but I made it! Earth, are you listening? I made it to the other side of the world! Because I'm about to take you to Sandwich Town. Ah! Ah! I need more bread! Other slice! You know I made it, right? Tucker made it to the other side of the world. Well, I'll be Tamp. You know, I believed in Sandwich Boy this whole time. I knew he could do it. Ah! I knew it. Ah! Well, that's pretty much it. I have to fly home 80 hours now. See you guys. <laughs> Straight stripping like Tucker Dogs.